Yo, what is up guys? Lucky here, and I'm sorry for the late upload, but we're gonna cover, in my opinion, of the top five worst legends in Apex. Now, this is my personal opinion once again, and I'll be telling you guys my reasons of why. Alright guys, so for number five, I'm gonna have to go with... Mirage. I know you guys were probably expecting him to be closer to the top threes, but Mirage is not all that useless, but he is still useless. He's useful when he uses his ult because he can sneak around, but most people don't do that correctly as you guys have seen in a lot of videos. But other than that, Mirage could be very useful because while he's pushing, he could throw a decoy, the decoy could start running. And right there, while you were shooting at him, you could start shooting the decoy by mistake, waste a clip, and then his bullets are all going to land on you and he gets you down. So, right then and there, that's kind of how Mirage would work if he were to use him properly. But other than that... Mirage is not really that great of a character because when he uses his ult, all his decoys stand still. And when he runs, he's most likely going to run on water or snow and you'll be able to see the footsteps and you can gun him down. So with that said, Mirage is, my personal opinion, number five of one of the worst characters in Apex. He, I feel like he truly does need a buff. Number four, I am going to go with Bloodhound. The reason I choose Bloodhound is because when Bloodhound scans an area or a building, you can see it and you can automatically know there's a Bloodhound coming or he's about to come in the room. And when he uses Eye of the All Father, you can hear him. And yeah, he does run faster and you know, he can basically see you like aimbot. But other than that, he's not really that useful. He's good for tracking and stuff, but in reality, what teams do you play with that you know they actually track their enemies and hunt them down? I don't know a lot of people that main Bloodhound. If anything, I feel like Bloodhound needs also a bit of a buff. Number three, I'm going to go with my season two main, which was Octane. The reason I put him in number three is because Octane isn't useful at all. He's more of a solo character. He's he's very good for pushing fights. But other than that, his ult doesn't really offer anything useful. He can run faster. Even that, I believe he was nerfed a bit, so he runs slower. And yeah, he can get on the high ground, but we all know that Pathfinder is the high ground king. So, Octane is good for rushing. He's a fun character to play, but other than that... He does not offer a lot when it comes to a team style game. Now you're probably thinking, well, you just said Mirage and Bloodhound. They offer things. Well, they do to a certain extent, but come on. For you to fall for a decoy, you have to be dumb. And Bloodhound, once you hear him coming, you and your teammates can pretty much just all target one person and take him out. Bloodhound is too loud when you hear him coming. But those are just my opinion. Alright guys, number two, I'm going to go with Caustic. I was debating whether to put him for one or two, but I'm going to have to go with number two. And the reason is, Caustic is good for buildings, but his gas, the fact that it affects his teammates, that's just a big no-no for me. It makes him useless because if your teammates can't move fast enough and they also can't see the only person winning is you and if you get put down not only are you hurting the enemy which is good but your teammates can't see so they can't really help you they can't move fast and it's just useless at that point you become a useless character and to be honest if you know this you know that i absolutely hate caustic he is one of the most annoying characters in apex to me I don't know, I just don't like Caustic, so I'm placing him number two simply because he affects his teammates with his ult. Alright guys, number one, you hate to see it, but you should have known it was coming. Crypto. I believe Crypto to be the number one useless character. Like I said, I was debating to put Caustic number one, 
and sometimes I feel like Caustic deserves the number one spot, but we're going to go with Crypto simply because his EMP also affects his teammates. It slows him. It slows your teammates down, and that's a big no-no. And yeah, the drone is cool, but the moment you hear the drone, you already know this is a Crypto within, you know, 200 uh, meters of you or so. And he's also useless when he's using his little drone. He's very vulnerable. I can't tell you how many times I pull up in a house because I hear a drone outside and I just see crypto in a corner. And once I start shooting him, by the time he reacts, even if he steps out of it and pulls his gun, it's too late. He's at 25%. He's dead on the ground and his teammates are most likely nowhere near him. So that's why I'm placing Crypto as number one. Now this list is debatable. You can switch up the characters however you guys decide. The reason these characters are on the list is because some of them, they need a major buff. And I'm going to give an example of Bloodhound. Back in season one, we wouldn't even what? see when he was scanned and he yeah, wasn't as down. loud. And some characters, their abilities affect their teammates like Caustic and what? Crypto. So that's a no-no. But without further ado, guys, let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree or what character you would want to add to the list leave a comment like subscribe hit that notification it's your boy lucky thank you for watching and the one character i would say is a neutral character for me is watson so i'm gonna leave that up for debate see you guys later